On June 22, 2022, the European Commission, the European Union's executive arm, unveiled a landmark legislation to restore nature and mitigate climate change on the European continent. The draft law calls for reducing pesticide use by 50% across Europe by 2030 and dismantling big dams to make rivers free-flowing, among other things. The proposal is aimed at contributing to the continuous, long-term and sustained recovery of biodiverse and resilient nature across the EU's land and sea areas by restoring ecosystems and thus contribute to achieving the EU's climate mitigation and climate adaptation objectives. The proposal sets multiple binding restoration targets and obligations across a broad range of ecosystems. Number 1. It includes the overarching objective for area-based restoration measures on 20% of the EU land and sea area by 2030. Number 2. As part of the proposal, natural and semi-natural biodiversity ecosystems will be improved and re-established on a large scale. Number 3. The use and risk of chemical pesticides will be reduced to 50% by 2030 to reverse the decline of bees, butterflies, bumblebees, hoverflies and other pollinator populations by 2030. Number 4. The proposal aims to reduce loss of green urban spaces so that there is no net loss by 2030. In fact, the target is to ensure 5% increase in these spaces by 2050. Number 5. There must be an increase in at least 10% of tree canopy cover in all cities and towns. Number 6. The proposal has set a target of restoring 25,000 km of rivers to a free-flowing state by 2030. For this, the barriers that prevent or obstruct the connectivity of surface waters will be identified and removed. Around 100 billion euros will be available for biodiversity spending, including restoration. Thereafter, they are expected to monitor and submit progress reports against the targets. The European Union has not been successful in halting the loss of biodiversity between 2011 and 2020, according to the EU Biodiversity Strategy, which had a voluntary target to restore at least 15% of degraded ecosystems by 2020. The well-timed proposal is also a demonstration of the EU leadership in protecting and restoring nature. It is expected to set the bar for global action ahead of the Biodiversity COP15 scheduled to be held at Montreal, Canada in December 2022.